Hi everyone, my name is Adrian. I'm a physical therapist and a fellow swing dancer. In this video, I'm going to be talking about fixing plantar fasciitis so that you can swing dance pain-free. There are many reasons why you might have plantar fasciitis, which is commonly described as pain in your heel. In this video, I'm going to discuss two reasons why you might have plantar fasciitis and a few ways to get rid of this pain. Number one, the plantar fascia along with your foot muscles goes from your toe to your heel. These muscles control your toes. The reason why you get this sharp stabbing burning sensation in your heel is because your toe muscles are working too hard to keep you balanced. So they tend to curl your toes and grab the ground. In swing dancing, balancing is a constant task. Therefore, you must find out which muscles are not firing correctly and putting more responsibility on the small toe muscles. We will discuss this more in a second. Number two, there is excessive pressure on the heel bone, also known as the calcaneus. If your calf muscle is not strong enough, your heel hits the ground with a lot of force. Sometimes it bounces multiple times when you're landing. This irritates the bone and mimics plantar fasciitis. A stronger calf muscle can reduce the stress on your calcaneus when landing. So what do you do about it? As swing dancers, having enough ankle strength to balance, jump, and turn on the ball of your foot is crucial to foot health. The following are a few of my suggestions to keep your foot strong and pain-free. Exercise number one, ankle pumps with a band. I always recommend that you do this exercise with your dance shoes on. And the reason for this is, is that it reduces the temptation for your toes to curl and help push the band in this exercise. Place the band around the ball of your feet, hold the band in separate hands, and you push your foot down against the band. It is extremely important to be mindful about where you feel the muscles working. It is okay to feel it in your calf muscle, around the ankle joint, in your shin. It is not okay to feel it in your toes or in your heel. It is also not okay to lock out your knee or tense up your shoulders. Do this to the point that the band does not control your foot, but you are in control of the band. Spending five minutes or doing a total of 50 per day should be plenty. Exercise number two, heel raises. It is important to feel this exercise in your calf muscle predominantly. I also recommend keeping your shoes on for this exercise. And it is also okay to hold on to something, especially if you feel that your toes are curling while you do this exercise. First, you start with heel raises with both feet, and then you progress to heel raises on one foot. Try to set a goal for doing heel raises on both feet to 40 repetitions and trash the goal of 20 repetitions for doing heel raises on one foot. Remember to be mindful about where you feel the muscles working when you're doing these exercises. And understand that plantar fasciitis heel pain is commonly because the toe muscles are being overused because the ankle muscles are not strong enough. I hope this helps and in the next video I'm going to be discussing chronic knee issues after ACL surgeries so that you can swing dance pain. -free.